Hey, El Tigre. I'm at the Crab Rock. Very artistic. Lorenzo's the artist, and we Garillas are like the crabs. Hard shells? Sharp claws? They fight from the jungle to give birth in the ocean. We fought from the ocean and gave birth to La Revolution. See? Si. I got it. Take the footpath up the mountain. Very easy. A guerrilla must be short-footed, like a goat. Goat? I thought we were like a crab. Hello? Pinga. The view from the waterfall was so beautiful. I think the wall is just a little bit chill. My grandmother told me that. Looks like the waterfall from El Tigre's photo. We took her up there. El Tigre. I'm at the waterfall picture. It was taken after a bloody battle. Three days of hiding paid off when a platoon of paratroopers landed right in our kill zone. Planning and patience are Garia's best friends. Those a handful of grenades. <laughs> the waterfall ran red that day. You know, with all the blood. The family soldados we killed. Because it was a lot. Yeah, I get it. Goats. Fucking show offs. Hiking trail for sweaty touristas. They'd visit our camp, leave their shit everywhere, take photographs of us like we were animals in a zoo. So we might have accidentally lit a few dynamite sticks and might have accidentally blocked the trail. Then I might have to accidentally unblock it. Exactly! <laughs> I love it.
And really disappear up here would make an army blind. How is the air both thick and thin at the same time? Okay, I'm at the next picture. Let me guess. Guerrillas are like sharks. Deadly predators with knives as sharp as teeth. Actually, that rock just looked like a shark. Who's the one dangling underneath it? That's Lucky Mama. We never knew when the Sodal would find our camp. So we had to secure fast ways up and even faster ways down. Lucky always volunteered to be the first to test the lines. Brave. I hear you're brave, too. Clara told me about you. You know, I also grew up without a mama or papa. And you still became a legend. <laughs> Many guerrillas are orphans, baby Tigre. But it's not our parents who define us. It's our actions. It's like therapy. El Tigre, I'm at the statue. Dear friend, killed in combat when we stormed Esperanza in 67. Yesterday was the anniversary of his death. That explains the hangover. Every year I drink two bottles of rum. One for me, and one for Lobo. He never lived to see a free Yara. To be honest, neither did I. This is the last pick. Felicidades! You're at the top of the world! Now get down here! You're missing all the fun, baby tigre! Ah! in the cojones a thousand times. I haven't felt them since 72. Hey! Never do that again. What? Mi casa su casa, baby tigre. Come on. Me the family. Lucky, my nose is broke again. 
I'm not your fucking mother. There are people out there who are actually hurt. I am suffering. I easy, mama. Herpes doesn't count. Meet Lorenzo of Canseco, poet of the legends. Well, I sense the hot blood of a fighter. And of course, you know Lucky Mama, heart of the legends. It's not broken. Really? I felt it go crazy. Merda! Another patient? Hmm. Looks like La Morale to me. I'm Dani Rojas from Libertad. The new fist of the revolution. No, Clara sent me. Libertad needs the legends on our side, heroes to believe in. To fight another Castillo? He's exactly what Yara deserves. Buena suerte. Sorry, one revolution was enough. Looks like Clara was wrong. A faith, Danny. They just need to get to know you. Come see me when you get settled, my baby Tigre. <clears throat> I've met the legends. El Tigre is the only one on board with Libertad. Do whatever you have to and get them to join this fight. The people need heroes to believe in. I just hope they still want to be heroes. Is there a meaning here? Are you drunk? I am talking about momentum. You don't feel it? No. Nope. Got a mission, baby Tigre. Okay. If we want these cranky old guerrillas to help Libertad, we need Lucky and Lorenzo on board. So here's what we're going to do. Ever since Anton got obsessed with the cancer drugs and making Viviro, finding medical supplies for Lucky's clinic has been impossible. So I bribed a pilot to fly some in. When the supplies arrive, we tell Lucky they're a gift from Libertad, and boom, everybody's friends. Perfect plan, right? Well, it would have been if some hijo de puta didn't shoot down my chopper. Go get those supplies before someone else does, baby Tigre. Remember the three guerrilla pinspots? Always be moving. Always be on How's it going with those medical supplies? I'm working on it. Don't put off what you can do today. Because tomorrow can turn into yesterday, and by then it's too late. I think you might need a nap, big guy.
This looks like the drop. Take a mess. This is too easy. Que vola! Who are you? We're la moral. And the leste is our land. Our land, our medicine. You practice that little speech? Yeah. This is property of Libertad. Ah, Libertad. Knew you would come begging for our help. We should be fighting Castillo together. I'm Honron, second in command. Nice throw. Name's Danny. Danny Rojas. Uh-huh. Company! Over there! By the chopper! Got her up. Oh, 
got talent, Libertad. But Yelena needs these supplies. We got wounded. Yelena's your boss? Yeah. She's gonna kick my ass if I don't come back with something. Well, Clara's gonna try to kick mine if I don't bring these to the legends. Libertad wants the legends of 67? <laughs> half of Yara things are dead. Oh, they're very alive. And half of La Moral things are full of shit. But I majored in history. They paid him blood to put Anton's papa in his grave. I'll tell you what. You give me these supplies, I'll introduce you. Ah, coño. Yelena's gonna kill me. But at least I got to meet the legends first. Now, Danny, you get us a chopper. Then we can talk supplies. Welcome to La Moral. Libertad. Whatever. One of our soldiers. One of our finest lived to rest in Yana Sacred Soil. A famous young king once said, the tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots. That is a lie. The only blood I want to see is the blood of the Libertad Terristas. We will squeeze them dry every drop. The blood of Clara Garcia's traitors will be the seed of our prosperity. Whoever you are, you are trespassing in illegal airspace. Turn around now or we will fire upon you. What? I see you, Honron! Carrepinga! <laughs> Every soldado in Yara can see you! <clears throat> All right! Let's move! The supply. <gasps> Palapinga! El Tigre! Feast of the Revolution! You gotta sign my pants. Como se llama, señorita? Honron. Eh. I'm with La Moral. Uh. La Moral? Terroristas. Honron, this is Lorraine. I know who he is. I think the word he's looking for is guerrilla. You're not guerrillas. You're a street gang. At least we're not hiding on the mountain while the world goes to shit. Have you seen what's going on down there? Go, check out a Biovida facility. I dare you. The legends don't take orders from anarchists. Entiende? Enough, Lorenzo. <gasps> no, you know what? Fuck you. La Moral is keeping these supplies. This is our revolution, not yours. A farmer got caught in the crossfire today. Took a bullet in the stomach. Without this, he won't make it to tomorrow. Lucky mama. A lot of the bullets I pull are from La Moral. There is a difference between playing with guns and fighting la revolution. El Tigre. Sí. They're big on lectures. If these abuelos want to live in their museum, whatever, a quien le importa. But maybe I borrow some souvenirs. Talk to me when you got a minute. Oh, no. 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 Oh,
Juan? It's Danny, Juan. Danny! You called me! Yeah? Why? Juan! Shit. I've well. got our next move. Those medical supplies will put a lot of guerrillas back together. Gracias. Lucky appreciates them too, even if she doesn't show it. And bringing La Moral was smart. This camp needs young blood. Shakes things up. Now we need to work on Lorenzo. Half the abuelos out there hang on his every word. Honron said Lorenzo should visit a BioVira facility. But getting Lorenzo to do anything is like pulling a tank through the mud, sideways. I'm going to give him a little reminder of what we stood for, and you are going to bring the BioVita to him. All you got to do is tiptoe in, take photographs of anything suspicious, and get out. For a so-called research facility, they have way more guns than lab coats down there. They're hiding something, baby Tigre. We're going to slap Lorenzo in the face with whatever it is. Hope you have good camera skills. What do you kids say? No filter. You done with them? She told us she had some good news and said she'd be leaving Yara. That was the last time we saw Gabriella. My neighbor thought he saw her at that BioVita place. Tattoos and colorful hair. I'll keep an eye out. Gracias. I'm worried something terrible has happened. See you, engineer. An alarm. They've got a medic.
Sounds came from in there. I've got a bad feeling about this place. All of this bullshit about treating cancer. What are they doing to these people? like rats. What are they testing? Castillo's not going to get away with this. I need more gifts.
there. Rapinga! I think I'm going to be sick. Castillo, you fucking monster. There's something under the water. What the fuck is in the lake? Ah, carajo. I think I'm going to be sick. Castillo, you fucking monster. I need more pigs. Finger. So many. Those look like cages. But, or what?
This should be enough to convince Lorenzo. El Tigre have got the picks. You won't believe what they're doing to our people. It's horrific. Oh, I believe it. But it's Lorenzo who needs convincing. And what about Gabriella? I don't know what to tell you. She's gone. I, I had a feeling. Okay. Get those photos back to camp. It's time for Lorenzo to wake up. We were just kids, El Tigre. <laughs> <laughs> Lorenzo. I took pictures of that place when Ron was talking about. You swipe to the left. They look free to you. Yeah. This is what Libertad and La Moral are fighting. You can hate us, but at least we're doing something about it. No one deserves this, Lorenzo. This is happening all over Yara. You just can't see it from so high up this mountain. I can't look at this anymore. I didn't vote for Castillo. The war is over. So that was a waste. That's the end. You shoot the tree. I hate that so many of these legends don't want to fight. Danny, vamos. To think I looked up to these ancianos. Don't waste your time. We're freeing El Este with or without them. You need to talk to my boss, Yelena. And you need to see our operation up close. Swing by El Agujero is La Moral's badass headquarters in Concepcion. Say this password to our doorman. Muerto el perro, se acabó la rabia. I'll tell Yelena you're on your way. Attention unidentified pilot. This airspace is restricted. Land now. God damn it. What can I do? You should talk to Senora Toca and see what she needs. She's the president of the farmers' collectives there. I'm on it. She just told Libertad that her farmers are about to break our agreement. We really need these people on our side, Danny. Danny, where you at? Getting close. I think. So you know, Yelena's the big boss. I'm team captain, and you won't be able to miss Gilberto. Why? Who's Gilberto? Only the most fabulous spy in all of Yara. You can't even fart in El Este without Gilberto's death or hearing about it. It's 
spies and hackers. La moral sounds like the real deal. We don't fuck around. And if you've never been to Concepcion before, the place has got a curfew. When the sun goes down, soldados come out. Thanks for the heads up. Coño, I got a helicopter on my ass. Call me when you get there. Honron, I'm at Concepcion. How do I find La Moral? I'll send you a pic. Show no one. What are you sending me? It will help you find the door. Don't forget the password and remember. Curfew. Hello? Oh yeah. I heard you tried to kill Castillo. Dímelo. Oh, that is badass, mija. 